European markets fell after a revenue guidance cut from Apple added to fears of a slowdown in global economic growth. Symbol name price change percent change volume FTSE, DAX, CAC The Pan-European Stocks 600 Index fell 0.8% during morning trade, with most sectors and major bourses in the red. The biggest story for investors on Thursday was Apple Chief Executive Tim Cook's letter to investors, in which he lowered the tech giant's first quarter revenue guidance to $84 billion down from the $89 billion to $93 billion that had previously been forecast. The firm also lowered gross margin expectations to approximately 38%, down from a previously projected 38 to 38.5%. Apple blamed a number of factors for the climb down in guidance, including weakness in China's economy and disappointing iPhone revenue. The news amplified fears of a downturn in global growth as well as the effects of U.S. Sino trade tensions on corporate earnings. Europe's tech sector suffered as a result, falling 3.67%. Apple suppliers in the continent also faltered, with shares of Austrian chipmaker AMS plunging 19% and Swiss firm ST Microelectronics down 9.6%. Looking at individual stocks. UK fashion retailer Next rose close to the top of the European benchmark after reporting a jump in Christmas sales in the run-up to the Christmas holiday season. The firm posted a 9.2% rise in in in-store sales and a 15.2% jump in online sales. Shares rose almost 4.7%. Asian equities also tumbled Thursday, while US futures pointed to a negative open. South Korea's Kospi slid almost 0.81% at the close as domestic Apple suppliers fell, while China's Hang Seng Index dropped 0.22%. Dow futures, meanwhile, indicated a more than 300-point drop at the open, with S&P 500 futures falling 1.5% and Nasdaq futures down 2.5%. Another focus for investors was an apparent flash crash in foreign exchange markets that saw the Japanese yen soar versus most major currencies within seconds. The US dollar sank over 1% against the yen to 107.63. Stateside, Congress and the White House failed to reach a funding deal Wednesday to end the partial government shutdown. The main source of contention for the two main parties is President Donald Trump's demand for $5 billion to fund a border wall between the U.S. and Mexico. Elsewhere, German economy minister Peter Altmaier said in an interview published Thursday that the U.K.'s withdrawal from the European Union poses an economic risk, although he added that he expected growth in Germany to continue. According to a survey released by UK industry body the British Chambers of Commerce on Thursday, the percentage of services firms reporting a rise in domestic sales fell to the lowest level in two years in the fourth quarter. In terms of data, the IHS market, SIPS UK, Construction Purchasing Managers Index, PMI, fell to 52.8 in December, down from 53.4 in the previous month. That figure marked a three-month low, a cent the British pound tumbling 0.35% versus the dollar to 1.2563. The Swiss SVME PMI figure, meanwhile, rose to 57.8 in December, beating expectations for a reading of 57.2.